want to help humans and I want to help them understand themselves. And the people who have money to spend are sales and marketing. That's who spends money for their teams because people spend money on the people who go make money. Yeah. Not that HRs don't have great conferences, but they don't have a ton of them. And the ones they do have aren't that great, at least in my experience. Why? Because they don't make a lot of money and they're just happy to get out and not be in charge of somebody. Like where those spaces are and then going, okay, what is it to your point? Let's reverse engineer it. What is sales and marketing looking for? They want to make more money. They want their people to be effective. They want them to be efficient. And the data would show that most people in corporate America do not feel effective, efficient, or appreciated. Great. So then the message I came up with is I want to spend the perfect amount of quality and quantity amount of time with your people. We need both so that we can help them create a vulnerable experience so that they can walk away more effective, efficient, and deeply believing in what they do. And I can guarantee your ROI is not going to be on day one after the conference. It's going to be on day 31 when they actually realize they can show up every day and be who they are. And so going back outward to what are they looking for, coming back into what is that thing and what is their language back to the root of it for me, what do I believe I can really do up there? Knowing my limited control, you have me for two hours on a four-day conference out of 365 days. I don't know the math. That's a very low percentage. I'm going to be with your people. What is it? Can I do? Can I instill foundationally, though, that gives them the ability to come back to that space? I did it. It's fruitful for a long period of time.